Hi friends, this is Satyan to this site. I welcome you in daily dose series of Tableau visualization. And today's agenda is around forecast. In order to show the forecast in Tableau desktop, I have already gone through WHO website and downloaded the data of COVID-19 as of now. Let's go ahead in Tableau desktop. Over here, I have connected WHO COVID-19 global data. You can see if I click over here, view data, you can see all the fields related to my data, which shows that we have country, we have country name, the date when this case was reported, the region which the country belongs to, then we have number of confirmed cases on that particular date, then cumulative confirmed date, cumulative death, and this is the death column reported on that particular day, and the number of records. So we have you know almost all our data which we can use in order to do forecast. Now the thing which need to be taken care over here is like in order to do forecast in not only in Tableau but any place you need to have a date. So basically it's a kind of time series analysis or a trend analysis what we do and basis the historical trend we can predict about the future. So keeping that thought in mind, we'll go ahead and do the forecasting in Tableau. Right, having said that, let's go ahead and do that. So as I said that I already have a date, I will drag the date field into my columns. By default, it is 2020. Over there, you can go ahead and change it into dates. So now if you see, you will see all the dates over here. With that, I'll go ahead and change it into trend, but I need to drag some measure onto rows. For that, I'll go ahead and drag number of confirmed cases or maybe cumulative cases. Uh, let, let me take the confirmed cases reported on a particular day. And as soon as we do that, I get this trend, which shows that on a particular date, how many cases were reported on. This point to be noted, this data shows across the globe or the data represents the data across various countries in the world. Now, let me just do a little bit formatting here so that once we are ready with our forecast, we should be kind of looking good. So we'll do a little bit of formatting, not that much. And over here it's 12. The people who are following me, maybe, may know by this time that I have been kind of doing the similar kind of formatting throughout my various workbooks, what I create. And that's a standard what I follow. Like for titles, I take 12 size of font and for title of dashboard, I take around 22. That looks decent size to me. And that's the reason I have been kind of taking care or taking that particular font size for various titles what I handle. Now, as of now, you, you see like I have my confirmed cases on Y axis and the day, basically the date on X axis. We'll just go ahead and right click on our trend. And from here, we'll know the forecast option below the trend lines. Now we'll just click on show forecast W is automatically going to show you some forecasted image or layout over here. The shadowed area basically talks about the forecast represented by W basis the historical trend of your data. Though we had the data of hardly three, three months, basis that W has done this forecasting, right? Uh, it's a general assumption or hypothesis that in order to create forecast, you should have minimum six months of data basis which you can generate a good forecast. However, though we have data of three months only, the quality and the confidence level might be low, but depending on the current trend, Tableau shows you the forecast for future. Over here, you can see that the blue color was my actual data and the light blue color shows the estimated or the forecast about the future. Now, let's say you want to see the little more estimated data. In that case, you can right click over here. Maybe you can go to edit. You will have several options over there. Right now it shows 
automatic for the next eight days because my unit over here was days. Tableau is automatically showing the prediction for next eight days. What I'll do, I'll just change it. Maybe not here specifically, that is too much. But again, for months, I'll show at least for two months that what my prediction is going to be. Other than this, you have several other options. For example, you want aggregated aggregation to be done on days, years, quarters. Because my unit over here is day, I'll keep it as days. That's why W has also already taken that as automatic. Now you can fill in the missing values with zeros. So that will help you out in your data. Now forecasting model, uh, I have taken automatic. That is without seasonality, right? You can take custom. You can apply a few more, you know, inputs to it. But for now, we'll just keep it automatic. And this is the interval that is 95%. We'll go ahead and cl click on OK. And then you would see that what's your trend and this is the forecasted value, right? It shows the forecasted trend for uh, the new COVID cases, COVID-19 cases, which, which can occur depending on my historical data and the trend. Now, somebody can ask like, what is the definition of this particular trend? What are the factors affecting this particular trend? For them, definitely it's a very valid question. And for them, you can, anytime click on this particular trend go to forecast and then describe your forecast and over here you will get the details about this particular forecast trend what you are getting right now so it shows the time series day of day because our unit was day then measure it sum of confirmed cases that is what we have taken forecast forward is of 61 days which means i have selected two months so 30 plus 31 that is 61 days i'm showing the forecast for 61 days then forecast based on 8th january 20 to 24th of april that is the data range what we have and ignored last one day that is 25th that is you know yesterday's data now Right now, we are not taking any kind of seasonality here. So that's why it says none. And then rest of the information which you can find here. It says the quality is poor. As I mentioned earlier that data is off only hardly, you know, three months. So definitely the quality is going to be poor. Other than this, you have your one more tab, which is called models. If you click over here, you get some st statistical information like what is your alpha, beta, gamma values, and then some quality matrices in order to prove the quality of your model. So these factors play a lot of role in case of, you know, the quality or, um, you know, the accuracy of your model, right? Then you have level additive, trend additive, and seasonality, none. So all this information you can share, and if you know statistics very well, you can go ahead and explore these parameters, quality matrices here, you will know more about the current model. And of course, by changing this particular, you know, information, you can improve the quality of your model, right? With this, because this was the trend uh, we created here, let me just do one more thing. I'm going to kind of select the two points on this particular forecasted value and then I will kind of right click and basically will show the trend lines so that I will know the definition of my trend. Now you remember like this was my forecasted row or the trend which it was showing earlier. If I just put my mouse on top of it you will see the equation confirmed is equal to 176.891 into day of day plus minus 7.69588e plus 06 that is the equation of the estimated trend line now by following this particular equation you can improve the quality and you can get the better results out of this forecast. Guys, it was a heavy dose for today's session. I would like you to go ahead and, go ahead and in investigate about the various matrices, quality matrices for this model, so that you learn a lot about the forecasting in Tableau. I hope you can work on the better data 
data which can have you know about six months of historical trend and then you can see the quality forecast of your data in case you have any question or you'd like to ask me you can just drop your comments onto my channel data miners hub or on the video itself i'll be very happy to answer your questions till then have a nice time stay safe bye bye